I wanted to just kind of show you quickly how to, to put together this honey pot with the dripping honey. So there is the 57 millimeter disc set comes with two 57 millimeters and then either the dip is 18 or 23. And as you can see, this is larger and up here it's skinnier. So how do you put this in without disforming anything? And the best way to do that is to slide it in from the side. So uh, simply going to, again, just paint some distilled water in there. And then just find, so that's the bottom and that's the bottom. And then I just formed the end when I was trimming off the edge. So I'm just kind of shaping it back so that it will slide in. Careful, don't squish <laughs> like I did. I just squished the end a little bit, but okay. So now that I slid it in, just gonna kind of push the tops down and the side up so that they meet up. And I'm gonna squeeze, since I opened the end a little bit to get this to go in, I'm just squeezing the end close. Um, and so you see how that doesn't quite meet up, so just pushing these up. Push. Trim off the end piece. Okay, so you see how that basically fits right in? So now I have the honey dipper and it's got an angle at the bottom. The top is round, the bottom is flat and it's on an angle. I'm just gonna paint some water down that and then stick it right on the honey. and trim this end off just to clean it up and look you have your honey pot I just love this design I think it's absolutely adorable and I can't wait to make some with it so there you go it's not hard to do um, it just takes just a little bit to find that groove and once you get it in and sliding you should be fine like I said if you if it, the ends get disformed a little bit just kind of squeeze them out and open up the sides and then it should slide in so you can always try to just put it in from the top but I'm afraid that you might kind of the honey might get squished a little bit I definitely think it's easier to do that on these small versions the larger one I said I think it slides in pretty easily and you can do it that way. So yeah, I have finished prepping those and now I'll go prep some soap batter and we'll make soap with these.
This was using the revised where I made it deeper. Um, there were some issues with me and scraping, but I think I like the longer or deeper version. So this was the short one and this is the longer one. I don't know. Like maybe middle ground. <laughs> oh my gosh. I I don't know. I had issues infilling the um mica line and that's part of why you see multiple things there, but I don't know. It's like, I think maybe I just want this a little bit deeper, but not quite that deep. So I like this side, like I said, I had issues on one side and I ended up having to scrape over part of it and that's why you see double lines. This one, I did not screw up. <laughs> I'm not sure which I like better. Like I said, maybe somewhere in between <laughs> the two. I don't know, which do you prefer? Maybe just a little bit shorter and a little bit longer here, split the middle difference. I love this honey pot in the honey dipper. So, yeah, I think it's cute. I, I do like the dripping honey. And I love this honey pot. I just think it needs to be a tad bit shorter. Well, there you have it. My honey soap. There is, you can see this, the flex, um, there's some ground oatmeal in this bar. And you can see some spots like right along here where there's no mica line. That's because I could not get the, the mica in that depth to cover it, but that's okay. I don't think it affects it any. Yeah, well, let me know what you think. So this soap came about because I was going to do I was going to use my large embed of this with this scraper. However, the large embed was very large. <laughs> Way too big for me to actually use the scraper with. So I just did a simple batch with oatmeal in it and the honey pot. And I think it's cute. It's scented in maple oats and honey from nature's garden. I'm not a warm, like honey scent. I know they're really good sellers, but it's just not my cat, my cup of tea. But this one, oh my gosh, it smells even better in bath bombs. It morphs a little bit in the cold process soap, but this still smells so good. Good enough to eat. Look, a little honey pot. I I should say big honey pot. I, I just, I love this embed. It's my favorite. It took me three tries of making the, the honey pot embeds. I like all of them for different reasons, but this one's definitely my favorite. So a relatively simple design, but 